Welcome to another great episode of Bros Talking Sports, you guys. Today, Wednesday, hump day, we got NBA action. That is right. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, all of the above. Make sure uh, you tell your friends, fam, everything. Okay, you guys, let's get it. Bros Talking Sports, NBA action. All right. Last night, we're going to start off with my Milwaukee Bucks. That is right, you guys. Dame Dalla, the letter O, he came to play career high. And not only career, I mean, I'm sorry, season high, 40 points, but not only a season high, he had a spectacular night getting into the 20,000 point club. I just got to throw it out there. Yes, Dame, he is one of the greatest to ever do it. And I'm so proud to say that he did it in Portland, my hometown, all right, for 11 years. Epic, okay? Dame Ballard, much respect, salute, hats off to you, actually, okay, brother? Man, you about that life, man. You a straight shooter. You a straight killer, all right, you guys? I'm going to say this, all right? Yes, you from Oakland, all right? Steph Curry, he is the greatest shooter of all time. He be doing some shit. Stuff, okay, we all know. Everybody know. But Dame Dollar, you guys, gun to the head. I want Dame taking the last shot for me. All right, that's just how it is. Dame all day. When the pressure's on the line, he's clutch. Okay. Steph, sometimes when he was a little earlier, when the pressure's on the line, it doesn't come up clutch. But this year we will see Dame Dollar, how clutch he comes up as the year progresses, because he's just warming up, you guys. He, you already know what he did last game, uh, 39 points, tie season high. He was just balling out. But tonight, 40 points, three rebounds, four assists. He had 19 points in the first quarter. Coming in, he was 19,994 points, six points away. You know he was getting it, all right? Giannis, he was dishing that thing tonight. Tonight, um, A season low, 11 points, because, you know, in his mind, he was like, you know what, Dame Dollar's about to get in this 20,000-point club, and uh, there's only 51 players to ever do that, and he's 51. All right, you guys, 51 players to be in 20,000, and uh, that's just much respect. I cannot say enough how much, how cold that is, man. You know, um, yeah, you guys, that's just cold, okay? Giannis, though, 11 uh, points. 14 rebounds and 16 assists. That's his career high, 16 assists. Much respect for you, Giannis. You're doing that damn thing over there. The Bucks are 20 and seven. I, I didn't tell you, but they whooped on the Spurs. Yes, they didn't have Wimby uh, playing. He was out because of an ankle injury. This is the second game he missed for the season. I don't know if that's worrisome or what, but they fought a four and 22. And um, as I said, I think they're going for another uh, top picks to pair up with Wimby. So uh, we'll see how the season progresses. Um, the Spurs have lost the last 20 of 21 games. Keldon Johnson had 28 and 12, one assist. He led the way for the Spurs. Zach Collins had 22, 8 and 2. Vassell had 17, 3 and 2. And, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, Wimby was out. So listen up, you guys. Uh, the Bucks won. The last 14 games at home, okay, you guys, they balling out. Uh, 132 to 119, as I said, Dame Dollar, 20,000 point club. Uh, Middleton at 17, three rebounds, four assists. Lopez had 14, five. Beasley had seven and four. Uh, Bobby Porter's off the bench. He always comes up big, 23 and 10. He's he's so cold uh, for Milwaukee coming off the bench. Those are the type of players you need. Uh, to win championships when you uh, are going deep into the playoffs, okay, you guys? Uh, you guys, there's only eight players. I said 51 players to reach 20,000 20, points, okay? But there's only eight active players to do it. When I was thinking about the list, like, I came up with, like, six, like five of the eight, and I was just really kind of stunned when I saw the other ones. But listen up, you guys. You know LeBron. All right, LeBron, KD, and Curry. Those are like the three, you know, 20,000 points they've been balling out. Curry, the greatest shooter of all time. KD, he gets that work. All right, you know, Mr. Burner Phone, a.k.a. I just want to play. Give me the rock and I'm going to knock it in. All right, Uh, Bron, the chosen one. You already know what's up. Greatest number one scorer of all time, 39 
and counting right now, you guys. And uh, listen, LeBron, KD, Curry, you guys, epic. But James Harden also has 20,000. Russ has 20,000. That's right. Russell Westbrook has 20,000, you guys. All right. DeMar DeRozan has 20,000. Chris Paul has 20,000. And now Dame Dalla. Okay, you guys. LeBron, KD, Harden, Russ, Curry, DeMar, Chris, and Dame Dalla. Eight active players, you guys. It's epic because I feel like as fans and as media and as players too, you know, we're just all living in the moment. And this is history. You know, like when I was younger, you know, it was definitely, you know, top 20 was completely like different. And then to have eight active players still playing that's in the top 20 all time is just epic to me. And then to have, you know, like we when we really take a step back and look at the last – 2010s to 2018 or 2010 to 2020 all right that decade when we look at that decade we really 10 20 30 years from now are going to compare it to mike's 90s bulls in that decade okay growing up for me as you can see you know it's all mike mike jordan the 90s they ruled it back to back uh three peak championships you know um 90 93 and then 96, 97, 98. But listen, what the Warriors in Cleveland and Miami has done for the league and for everybody, we are in the age of media. So everybody's critiquing, critiquing, critiquing. But we need to really take a step back and appreciate greatness when we see it. Because the fact that I saw Harden on, yeah, Harden, he's like, I think, three right now, all time. Uh, for shooting threes, he's going to end up. He's going to end up like two. Dame's going to actually end up two when it's all said and done, I believe, because Harden's closer to being done than Dame. So Dame will end up two. It'll be Curry, Dame, and then Harden. But you look at that. It was you know Ray, um, uh, um, uh, Ray Reggie, um, was the top two shooters right there, um. And now it just keeps going down and down and down. The league is changing, but I got to give respect. DeMar DeRozan, man, to be able to, he's a scorer. I never really, like, paid attention, attention to. I know he's a baller. He's an all-star and stuff like that. But, like, to be in the top 20,000 is huge, DeMar. That's epic. Chris Paul, he's an epic point guard. He's a straight point guard. He plays the game the right way. He gets his players involved, his teammates and he's going to make the right pass. But to be a shooter, that's not what he's known for. And the fact that he's in the 20,000-point club, yeah, it's longevity. He's played a long time. But, man, much respect to you, Chris Paul. You know, much respect, you guys. Uh, I just want to say right now, stop talking about Harden, all right? Harden's in the 20,000-point club, okay, you guys? He's all t- one of the all-time greatest shooters, threes, and he's obviously the all-time greatest shooters because he's in the 20,000-point club. He's a scorer. Stop talking about Harden. Stop talking about Russell Westbrook. Oh, wait. Actually, let me back up. Harden over there. No, no, no. Actually, I'm going to get to that. Clippers are balling out right now, okay, guys? James Harden went over there. They went to 0-5. They turned it around, and they're balling out, okay? But we'll get to that. Stop talking about Russell Westbrook, all right? He's bad for the teams. He's He's been on this team and that team and this team. He's always going to trade it. The locker room says this. Man, shut that up, all right, you guys? Fans, as you know, Russ has one of, been one of my favorite players ever since he came into the league from UCLA. And listen up, man. He's been a dog. He reminded me of MJ when he first came in because he's that nonstop. He's going to get it, and he don't care about nothing, all right? Russ is a dog, and uh, he always has been, okay? In the 20,000-point club, don't say nothing else, okay? Not to mention his triple-doubles that he topped Oscar uh, Robinson for. Listen, man, he is an absolute dog. St- keep Russ's name out your mouth, okay, you guys? Stop talking about Chris Paul as well, all right? He's been on this team and this time. He ain't won a championship. Every time he, he's a uh, he, he's a dirty player, nah, uh-uh. He's in the 20,000 point club for a reason, and he's a straight point guard. Keep Chris Paul's name out your mouth, you guys, all right? I don't even want to hear that. And stop talking about Dame Dollar as well, all right, you guys? Gun to the head, as I said, he's taking the last shot for me because, for me, he is the all-time greatest shooter, clutch shooter. Let me just say that. Steph Curry is the all-time greatest shooter, 
Dame Dollar is the all-time greatest clutch shooter. Put that out there, man. All right? Let's go. Keep Dame's name out your mouth. That goes for Harden, Russ, Chris Paul, and all of them, okay? 20,000-point club. Stand up. LeBron, Curry, and KDU as well. DeMar, much respect, man. I can't even believe that list, okay, you guys? But the Bucks got it done. And uh, I'm so excited. We play uh, the Magics next. And, uh, yeah, let's whoop their ass. All right, you guys? Nice. Next up on NBA action. We've got a lot of NBA action today, guys. So let's get to it. Last night, another great matchup. We had the Boston Celtics going at the Golden State Warriors. This was epic. Boston was up like the entire night. And then stuff started to change. Okay, you guys know you guys know who they got over there. They got that bad man, Stephen Curry. All right, aka Wardell Stephen Curry. He is who we thought he is. Okay, you guys, as you know, four time champ, twenty thousand point club, twenty two thousand and some change to be exact. Okay, to be exact, he Curry started out slow, but the Warriors got the job done in overtime over the Celtics. They gave the Celtics their, only their sixth loss of the season, which is obviously epic. Boston is cold, but they just got to put it together. Sometimes they be doing some stuff, and uh, I don't understand it. Like last night, shooting too many damn threes in the fourth quarter, trying to match uh, Golden State's energy. You ain't going to match Golden State's energy because Golden State are who we thought they are. They're a shooting three-point team. And they have the greatest shooter over there, two of them to be exact, the Splash Brothers. Don't forget about Clay. All right. You ain't going to match the energy. You need to take the ball in, punch them in the mouth, get the rebounds, get the fouls. There is no reason to hell. I, I'm a little hot because, uh, you know, Curry was, like I said, he started off slow. He ended up with 33 points, but there ain't no way in hell. Curry was in foul trouble all night, but uh, Steve Kerr knew. He knew. Keep. Curry in the game. Okay, guys, at the start of the fourth quarter, even in the end of the third quarter, I believe, Steph Curry had five fouls. <laughs> he had five fouls at the end of the third. Curry was like, are you going to keep uh, – or uh, uh, Steve Kerr was like, I'm not keeping him out long. What do you know? Fourth quarter starts, he's back in the game. Five fouls, you guys. Steph Curry goes the entire fourth quarter and overtime without committing that fifth foul. Um, I blame the coaching on that on Boston because Tatum, Brown, uh, uh, Holiday, White, all of you guys were shooting threes nonstop. You should have took it in at Steph, got the uh, pick and rolls to make sure Steph was guarding you and take it in on him, back it in on him, whatever you got to do. Make him draw that foul because Steph Curry went off in the fourth quarter, you guys. He uh, like went off. He had like... 18, I believe, in the fourth and overtime or something like that. He was just going off. 33 for the night, three rebounds, six assists. He gave you guys the night-night, all right? You guys know what it is, the night-night, all right? Boston, you should be ashamed, but um, Warriors fans is huge. You know E-40 was in the building, all right? And um, it's just hard to play in the Warriors. They are, the, you know, the champs, four-time champs, and uh, they know – how to get the games done in crunch time. That's something Boston has yet to learn. And it takes a lot of experience playing together. And it takes a great shooter like Steph Curry. Okay, you guys? Uh, man, Warriors got that job done. Uh, Steph hit a dagger to tie it. It was just epic. The last few minutes was back and forth. I had a feeling it was going to go um, into overtime because Clay Thompson, uh, first of all, Boston had like five or six offensive rebounds and could not get a bucket, and they kept shooting threes. And then they finally took it in and missing layups. Golden State got the ball. Clay Thompson kicks it out, and I believe hits a three to tie it. And uh, it was just crazy. The ending was crazy. It really looked like playoff basketball. It was on TNT, so obviously, um, yeah, they were showing up and showing out, okay? Not Tatum, though. Tatum was a no-show low-key. He had 15 points. Eight rebounds and seven assists. Uh, you got to do better than that. Uh, Horford had 13, 12, and six. Holiday had 13 and seven. Uh, Derek White led the lead, led leading scores for Boston with 30 and seven rebounds and three assists. He was balling out, though. Uh, yeah, that last sequence was crazy. But 
The Warriors got it done. And they're 13 and 14, though, you guys. The Warriors are 13 and 14. They're under 500 this late into the season. That's something that I did not think was going to happen. Uh, about like a month and a half ago, I was like, Warriors are 6 and 2, you know, and uh, watch out for them. You know, then we have the Draymond situation. Then we, we just are not clicking. I don't know what's going on, man. Our knees are getting old. Our knees are shaking. All right, you guys. Uh, next up on NBA action, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. We got the Memphis Grizzlies at the Pelicans last night. In case you didn't know, this was John Morant's first game back after a 25-game epic suspension. All right, he took a lot of self-time, self-reflection, a lot of time to learn himself, went to therapy, counseling, all that stuff, okay? He learned himself. Nobody in the league contacted him. He said he said he was all alone. I don't really know what that means. Uh, but on the first day back, I saw LeBron put out a tweet. It was like, welcome back, brother. You know, welcome back, champ. You know, uh, something along the lines of like of that. But John Morant, eight months off, they went to the Pelicans and they got the victory 115 to 113. This was an epic, epic uh final shot because the game was tied 113 113 john moran had the ball he dribbles down boom bucket all right you guys dagger and the rest is history john moran had 34 points six rebounds and eight assists in his first game back in eight months okay you guys he's saying all the right things post game he's saying all the right things in his press conference the other day much respect to you john seems like you got your head on straight i see the new tat all right it says him all right, he's ready for this, and um, I think he's ready. He, he ran out. He was like, I got receipts. He knows everybody that was talking mess, And but Ja, this is what he does. He plays ball. Ain't nobody better than him out there on that floor in between those lines and um, when the game's on the line. And Ja, he he knows that, but just, you know, don't, don't uh, go too, you know, as you keep scoring and keep getting uh, more wins and stuff, just make sure you stay grounded and uh, all of that, okay, you guys? This was crazy, though. The Pelicans was up, like, most of the game. And towards the end, they just – Grizzlies kept battling back. Okay, you guys? This is only the seventh time that the top picks in, two, in the 2019 draft have played each other. Zion and Ja, they've been uh, – Zion's been hurt, obviously. So, uh, they just couldn't get it done. But Zion did play tonight. He's been in foul trouble all night. He only had 13 points, three rebounds, and four assists. You guys, Zion, man – you need to get it together, man, for real. I, I, I don't know. And, Duke, you look like an absolute star. You're looking like, um, what's this guy? Blake Griffin, okay? Big time star. And actually, Blake really panned out to be better than you right now. Let's just keep it spade a spade, all right? 13 points, three rebounds, four assists, foul trouble all night. John Morant bought out on you. CJ had 18, three rebounds, and six threes, okay? Six threes for his entire 18 points. He was balling out. Jonas Valaskunas, 22 points, 14 rebounds. Brandon Egram, 34, four rebounds, and six assists. He led uh, the Pels with uh, scoring tonight. But they just could not get it done. John Morant. He said he's been putting in the work, and it's showing. 34 points, you guys. They were down 24, actually. Let's just say that. Um, I, it's just nice to see some fire back in Memphis. Now that Josh's back, I'm excited to see uh, them to continue to get some wins. I haven't seen Desmond Bain on the schedule. Or I haven't even heard Desmond Bain, Bain's name all year, right? First game back for Josh, Desmond's in there. Yeah, he's been doing it, but I just haven't been hearing it. But then it's just crazy how I heard Bain – uh, you know, he had 21, but he's just doing his thing. But it's just weird how the pair link up now, all right? You got your guy back. Let's get it, okay? Bang, let's go. All right, another epic matchup last night, you guys. We had those. Portland Trail Blazers stand up. You already know Phoenix Suns came into our home, Rip City, thinking they was going to get the win. Nah, uh all right? Ain't going to happen. No way in the world. Phoenix was favored. I thought they was going to actually get the win. I'm not going to lie. But Portland, you know how hard it is to play in Rip City. We got the win. We snapped a seven-game uh, losing streak. We are 7-19, and but we got the win 109 to 104. <clears throat> Excuse me. We were down 22 points, you guys, but we battled back. Anthony Simons, 23 points, three rebounds, seven assists. Jeremy Grant, 22 points. He needed to get 23 in my parlay. Jeremy, what the hell? 
22 points, one rebound, four assists. DeAndre Aiden, 16 and 15, three assists. He had on 18 shots. 18 shots to get 16 points. Aiden, man, what the hell, man? Come on now. Step your game up. All right? You need to get big time. I don't care if Phoenix was your other team. You should have made more shots than that. 18 shots, you should have had at least 30, bro. Come on now. Um, off the bench, Brogdon becoming a big 14, four rebounds, four assists. Uh, Blazers was – we went from down 22 to being up 14 in the fourth. It was weird. KD came out 21 at the half thinking he was going to score 45. Then he slowed down in the third and in the fourth, but then he got it going. Okay, guys, KD uh, showed up in the fourth. He got 40 points, four rebounds, five assists. Devin Booker, 26, three, and seven. But you know they ain't got the third wheel, that Bradley Bill. All right. What the hell, Bill? Come on now. We need you, man. All right? This is the only way we're going to get it done. You guys, Phoenix is 14 and 13. There ain't no way in the world I thought that was going to happen. Coming into the year, I thought they would be at least top four in the West, okay? Absolutely. This is not looking good. I don't know what's going on. KD's always going to get his buckets. That's what he does, a.k.a. Burner phone. D. Book, though, 26. Yeah, he got his, 3 and 7. Man, Grayson Allen, downtown Allen, 11 and 9 rebounds. Nurkic, 9 and 13. Eric Gordon, though, I thought he was going to be the X factor this year, you guys. Sometimes he has big games. <clears throat> Sometimes he doesn't. Tonight was one of those games. Five points, three rebounds, four assists. Uh, and, yeah. I don't really know what's going on with uh, Phoenix. You guys, we trade, they trade Chris Paul. They trade Aiden. You know, you get Gordon, you get Nurkic, you get Bill. And, uh, yeah, we just got to figure this out, you guys. I don't understand it. How, Sway? All right? How, Sway? I don't have the answers. I don't have the answers for you, Phoenix. If I did, I would tell you. But D Brown? I mean, uh, Bill? Come on now. Shh. Bill, we need you. All right? But Blazers got it done. And, uh yeah, they were sloppy though with the ball. Uh, Pause uh, in the first half, 11 turnovers and six turnovers in the second half. But uh, Blazers got to win. Blazers got the win. All right, much respect. All right, y'all, real quick. Uh, a couple of nights ago, my Lakers, you already know, my Lakers were at home against the New York Knicks. <clears throat> I just got to talk about this because my Lakers came up short. I don't understand it, but uh, let's talk about it. All right. NBA action. Um, Rose talking sports. Let's go. Lakers are 15 and 12 now. They were 15 and 10 when they won the in season tournament. Tonight or the, the other night, they raised the in season tournament banner. As you guys know, Kobe Bryant, he did multiple interviews. He don't, in LA, you don't raise more than one banner. You only raise one. That's what he said. And of course, he was referring to division titles. Okay. Yes, division titles he was referring to. But you know, Kobe is actually a uh, a forward thinker, so maybe he would have been uh, okay with raising the in-season tournament banner. I'm not sure, but it happened, all right? They put it on the other side, not with the Lakers' um, 12 championships, but they put it on the other side with the Minneapolis' five championships, all right? So there's also more room for more, but just because you're the first one, I guess you could just throw it up there. Why not, all right? Don't just make this a habit, though. Uh, throwing it up there, just like put like you put the one banner up, <clears throat> and then put twenty three, and then if you win next year, you just put twenty four right right under it. Like go like the high school days, you know when they just keep the banner and they just put every year on it. All right, do something like that, Lakers. Okay, but Lakers lost. You know how it is. Banner night, ceremony night. If you win a championship, usually you get your ring. And usually you don't play that well. And usually a lot of teams lose. So um, I'm, I kind of have a feeling this is kind of where it went. New York came into L.A. and beat us, you guys. This was epic. The Mecca. Brunson went off 29 points, four rebounds, three assists. Julius Randle, 27 points, 14 rebounds, three assists. R.J. Barrett, 12 points, five rebounds, four assists. And, uh Yeah. Quickly had 20 and three, but New York beat LA twice this year. You guys, we're at home. I don't understand what's going on in LA, but New York went was on a five game road trip and they went three and two because of uh, LA. Come on now, LA lost the last three or four games since winning 
the in-season tournament. It kind of reminds me of last year, you guys, when LeBron went on this fabulous, fabulous run to beat Kareem for points. And then right after he got the record, he was kind of, kind of slowed down. His calf, his ankle, you know, and um, I'm not liking it. You win the in-season tournament, now you lose the next three or four. On top of Anthony Davis playing hella good. The, something's not adding up. We need to do the math and put it together, okay, you guys? Anthony Davis is playing good when he played. He did take the game off. but And Brown is actually playing good, too, and we're still not putting it together. Reeves is playing good off the bench. D'Lo is, you know, back and forth, but he's doing his thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm just not sure, you guys. Tonight, though, AD or the other night, AD had 32 points, 14 rebounds, and two assists. Balling out. LeBron had 25, 11, and 11, his 109th triple-double of his career. And uh, what can you expect? 25, 11, and 11 in year 21? Come on now. He was. He also became uh only player um, to do that in year 21. Okay, he's he's gonna set so many records in year twenty one. Okay, first player this, first player this, first player to eat Wheaties in year twenty one, first player to wake up and uh, brush his teeth in year twenty one. You know everything he's gonna set. All right, guys. But listen, <clears throat> LeBron tried to battle back. He hit back to back shots with three minutes left, and I thought they was gonna make a run, but no. Okay, you guys. Julius Randle took the soul out of the Lakers whenever he hit a lights out floater. Loader, floater, tip top, tippy toe, top of the mountain over AD. It was epic. I don't know how he got it in. It was crazy. And that literally snatched the soul out of the Lakers, you guys. And the rest was history. New York got the job done 114 and 109. Real quick, though, I just want to say I think we need to trade ASAP. This was kind of the eye opener to me. Okay. Um, we raise in the end season tournament banner, but if we want to raise the one that matters at the end of the year, we're going to need a trade. AD, yes, you're playing good. You're averaging 12 rebounds, 24 points per game. 12 rebounds, 24 points per game. But the problem, AD, <clears throat> is that LeBron James in year 21, in 21, is shooting 54% from the field, and he's averaging 25.2 points per night. So there's absolutely, like, no reason and no way that a guy in year 21, the GOAT, the great one, should be averaging more points than you. He's averaging literally a whole point more than you, and you're supposed to be the dominant one taking over L.A. That's not, that's not it. That's not it, all right? Uh, definitely we're going to need to figure it out. And uh, I think we are going to, you know, Lakers, Lakers ain't scared to make some trades. We just need to make AD had to, uh, he has to play big. So his, uh, trade level, his trade stock is up there as well. All right. But anyway, next up, you guys, the other night we had the Clippers at the Pacers. This one was big. I wanted to talk about it really quick. Uh, just because, uh, this was the last game for NBA action. All right. I'm bros talking sports. I wanted to talk about it because I just wanted to give the Clippers their respect. Okay. Mainly I wanted to give James Harden respect. I wanted to give Russell Westbrook some respect. Okay. Russell Westbrook a few weeks ago said, you know what? I'm going to set my pride aside and I'm going to come off the bench. All right. In L.A., he wanted to did that. You know what I mean? Like he wanted to. Uh, I mean, it was more ego. But in Clippers, it's more like a brotherhood. It's more of a fight. It's more of a dog. Like they got too many beasts over there for you to really be like, I want to start. OK, then you bring James Harden over, who, like I said, top 20. All right. Top 20 um, uh, point. Uh, t uh, 20,000 point club along with Russ. You got two of the top or 50, two of the top 50, 20,000 point club members on the exact same team. That is mind blowing to me when I really think about that. I didn't even think about that until it came out of my mouth. That's crazy. Pause. Clippers, 16 and 10. They're on an eight game win streak. Okay. When they acquired James Harden, they were 0 and 5. The media was blowing them up, talking trash. I think I said a couple of things. Not like, but like trash, trash, but I was like, we got to get together. You know what I mean? Russ is my dog, Kawhi, PG, you know, let's go. Well, you know, what's going to happen? Well, tonight, you guys were the other night. The Clippers got it done 151 to 127 over the Pacers. And this was epic. You guys, James Harden, um, he went off in the fourth. 
the game was kind of out of reach, but he went off in the fourth. 21 points. He got it done. 35 points for the entire night. Three rebounds and nine assists. Um, he was 12 of 16 from shooting. Eight of 11 from threes, you guys. Can you say water? James Harden, the bear, went off. All right. Kawhi Leonard, 28 points, two rebounds, one assist. Paul George, 27 points tonight, three rebounds and four assists. Every time he plays the Pacers, he always scores 36. The last five times he scored 36, 36, 36, 36, 36. That's crazy to me. Tonight he had 27. I would have just went for the 36 just because. But uh, Zubak had 18 and 16 rebounds, three assists. Off the bench, though, Norman Powell, 19 and 3, and Westbrook, 10, 4, and 5. Much respect. I just want to tell you guys, Clippers, stand up. I like where you guys are going. You ain't going to beat my Lakers, though. Uh, but I just really want to give Harden his respect, man. They're turning it around. Ty Lu also make sure I want to give you respect because you're doing a hell of a job coaching them right now. To coach all those egos, all those great players who all need the rock, who came up their entire career as little pups with the rock in their hand, doing being number one guy, and for him to orchestrate and how for them to play together, man, that's epic. I really that's another thing I think we take for granted too. Yeah, he won the championship with LeBron, Kyrie, um, Kayla, but it wasn't like it wasn't stacked like a Kawhi, Paul George, Westbrook, and Harden. Okay, you guys, top four, one of the greatest in the game right now on the same team, and he's coaching them, and they're winning. So much respect to you, uh, Ty Lue, Okay, on the flip side, real quick before we go, I just want to get to the Pacers. Okay, the Pacers, Benedict Marthren. Uh, or uh, Matherin, my apologies, 34 points, a season high, six rebounds and two assists. Jackson had 15 and four. Buddy Hield had 14. Toppin had 14. Brown had 11. And Halliburton had eight, two, and 11 assists. Okay, eight points, two rebounds, and 11 assists. <clears throat> you guys, everybody's hyping up Tyler, Tyrese Halliburton. He is a dog. He is a beast. But I need to see it more, okay? I don't I need to see the consistency, Tyrese, okay? Um eight points, two rebounds against the Clippers. <clears throat> All right. You beat you lost to the Lakers in the end season tournament championship. You didn't show up because you were starstruck. You probably were starstruck tonight with the, all these other stars on the same team because you only had eight. All right. I'm just starting to have some questions about his star ability is all I'm saying. OK, the last five games, let's just put it in perspective just so you know I ain't talking shit. I'm just saying, OK, he didn't play the last game. But before that, he had 19 on seven of 17 from shooting. Then he had 22 off of eight of 16 from shooting. Then he had 14 off of five of 12 and 20 off of eight of 14. So, I mean, it's pretty, you know, it's it's all right. You know, it's not superstar status though, where where a lot of people were trying to go. And so uh, just know um, he is getting there, but uh, it does take work and it does, uh, uh, it doesn't happen overnight. All right. Much respect though. Keep working hard. They finished the 12 day road trip. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, young players. You got them young legs though, so that shouldn't be no excuse. Okay, you guys. Uh side note, real quick, the Pacers, two-time ABA champion George McGinnis passed away. So they did a little special tribute and a video for him. Uh moment of silence, real really quick for Georgie. All right, guys. Roast on sports. NBA action. That is right. We are done. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, and all of the above. Until next time, let's get it. Let's go, Lakers!